What's going on, people? This is Tashira Say. Today, we're going to figure out how to get your 32 bit plugins to work within 64 bit Ableton Live. Currently, I'm beta testing Ableton Live 9. One of my biggest concerns was confirmed right away. There's no way to use your 32 bit plugins, and I have a lot of them. After doing some research, I found the perfect solution to this issue. It's called JBridge. Before I go any further, let me say this isn't a paid endorsement. This is just me telling you about a great product that works and it's very inexpensive. First thing you want to do is visit jstuff.wordpress.com. There's a version for PC and Mac. The PC version is 15 euros, which is around $20 US. And the Mac version is 10 euros, which is around 13 bucks US. Something very cool about this product is you can try it out first and make sure it works before you purchase it. Download it, and before you install it, I suggest you take the following steps. 1. Below this video is a link to another video showing you how to create an instruments folder. Watch that first. 2. If you haven't already, separate your 32 and 64 bit plugins. 3. Create a bridge folder in your 64 bit folder. Now you can install JBridge. After you install and start JBridge, you'll get this window. Here you can let the software know if you'll be using a 32 or 64 bit host. Since we're using 64 bit Ableton Live, we'll select that. Next, you can select your options. To keep things simple, choose the recommended creation method. Now it's going to ask what folder you want scanned. Since we want to use our 32-bit plugins, select that folder. When that's done, it'll ask you to select a folder where you want your new plugins installed. This is where the bridge folder comes in. Select that, then relax. Depending on the number of plugins you have, it may take a while. Once that's done, open the bridge folder, Copy all the folders and paste them into the 64-bit folder. If you're running Windows Vista, 7, or 8, you're going to have to run Ableton as an administrator in order for JBridge to work. To set this up, right-click on the Ableton Launcher, click on the Compatibility tab, and at the bottom, check Run This Program as an Administrator. Doing this ensures it'll run properly every time. Now we open Ableton. Then go to Options, Preferences, and File Folder. Then go to Plugin Sources, Browse, and select our 64 bit folder. When it's done scanning, go to your plugins. Select the 32 bit plugin, and boom, you are officially good to go. All it takes is a little time, patience, and not a lot of money. If you enjoyed this video, please like and share it. Subscribe to the channel and visit the website at abletonproducer.com.